The restaurant is about two years old. It was born from this idea that you, you can very easily show to people moments of connection that exist in this uh, global food landscape. Sometimes we know that one culture influences another, but rarely do we understand to what extent that is true. Good morning. How's it going? Morning. <laughs> morning, kid. Most cultures are the byproduct of consistent interaction. If that's true, then we are also the byproduct of consistent interaction. So by addressing the issue of food in this way, we also address a bigger issue, which is our disconnect, people's disconnect. So the restaurant was born out of this idea to try to use food as a larger picture that helps explain why is the world so weird? Why are we so afraid of one another? This right here, is the stuff from yesterday? Yeah. Let's try it out. Damn, that's strong. That's amazing. Try it. Come in. If you and I are from different backgrounds and we share a dish that we both connect with, then we're, we're not that different. We use metaphors like tofu is cheese and sauerkraut is kimchi. Why is it a mole, a Southeast Asian curry, and a Brazilian gravy? Why are they so similar? Food is what defines people's differences. For me, these differences are just circumstantial. They're not essential. How are we doing for lunch? So we are 26 for lunch. First table, 11.45, last table, 2 o'clock. 12 o'clock, table 4, celebrating a birthday. We got a birthday here, yeah? We know her, right? Eh? And then last table, table 3, once a private table, 72-year-old mom is coming with him. Cool. All right, guys, let's go have a good service. Thank you very much. All right, let's do this. Are we doing this hamachi or what? Yeah, we're firing four scallops as well, yeah? If we keep going like this, everybody's neatly paired, so don't drop the ball, please. Let's get this hamachi done quick. Service. Let's go. Come straight back for four crab, okay? Let's get that sauce up, please, Zoe. When we won our first star, I think for me more than anything, the sensation was one of relief. I mean that in the nicest way possible. That's not to say like we're the shiznit. It's just that we built a space that was really committed to providing good food, good service, and a nice atmosphere to people. It was more like a validation. The pressure was before. Is what we're doing recognizable to that degree? The place wasn't born to win accolades. But if you're doing good work, then good things are going to happen. It was great. It took us three weeks to recover from the celebrating. To be honest, the day after was a very hard day. But we were all very happy for it. Okay. So, where did we stop last time? Winter melon, right? It was chrysanthemum or chamomile butter. What was the acidic? It was lime juice, right? And then here on top, uh, and then we were in need of something crunchy, that's why that didn't work. Or making like a wine nut pretzel. Yeah. Way better. Yeah. Try the brine. So that's the, the Filipino brine mango. Is that better than yesterday? She's tough to please, this one. Oh my god, this one.
Yeah, can we go through them? Who are they? What's going on? Uh, at 6 p.m., the ones at the table, they have two elderly guests. Uh, last two diners for the night. Uh, two one tops. Wedding anniversary, wife is allergic to berries, spring onion. Please watch out there, okay? Uh, let's start strong first tables in at 6. We don't have a lot of time. Make sure everybody's ready. Yes, let's go. Guys, everybody tune in. You have to keep your hands flat. You're not cleaning enough the bottom of the spoon, so you're getting it to drip. Uh, Lils, I want to check doneness on that beef, okay? You need a nail there, yeah? Two of you, let's go. Three prawn and one pasta. Service. Thank you very much, sir. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Not to worry. Thank you, thank you and right. thank you for thank you. coming again, madam.